Ready? One, two, three. The little bump! I'm feeling little one and it is the best, most magical feeling in the world. I absolutely love it. This is how we told friends and family that we were expecting promoted to big brother. The little hat with the little bear ears. How adorable! Hey guys, welcome back. We're in the second trimester. I kind of can't believe it. Life has been crazy and I feel like this trimester is gonna go so quickly, so many people say it. We are off on holiday, which has been the most last minute thing. I didn't want to book anything because I was too worried for a 12 week scan. I wanted to have everything back from the homie test, but hopefully as you will have seen, that came back all tickety-boo. So feeling really positive, still a little bit anxious, but we've decided just to pop away to Portugal. And one of the most exciting things is that um, I'm sure I mentioned in the last video that we did the harmony test and in the harmony test you can find out the sex of the baby and I just haven't really been sure about where my head is to be honest and whether I want to find out or not I do want to find out we always knew we wanted to find out before baby arrived but I just didn't know at what point and we finally decided actually it's our one year anniversary wedding anniversary when we go away and how nice would it be to find out that night um, and just kind of enjoy and I think it will like help us connect a little bit to baby too because we haven't really spoken or talked about baby or fully enjoyed it I think up until really the end of the first trimester and when we like started getting some of the good results it all started to feel a little bit more real. So honestly I don't know how I've managed to do this but I have managed to find a um, baker who I was a bit worried about the translation um, and how I was going to get the information over to her as in do I send her the email? Will she understand? Because I haven't seen the email. Will she understand from the email? Or do we get somebody to write it down on in an envelope and then we like physically go and give it to her and hopefully see that she's got it? But I've been emailing her back and forth and I sent her the harmony test and she said, I've got it. So that feels really weird. I can't believe that somebody else knows. Um, so yeah, anyway, hopefully you will see that coming up next, which will be really sweet. I have been having many dreams that we're having a baby boy, which is really strange. They feel so realistic um, and it's so, so clear and I feel quite adamant that it is, but we'll see. Um, honestly, I can't tell you just how happy we are to have a little baby and I think you'll understand if you've had a miscarriage, it's just um, a nice thing to settle in your mind that it's actually happening. So yeah, and, and holiday. I mean, it feels a bit strange. Thankfully, everything still fits me because I'm about 14 weeks now, um, apart from bikinis. <laughs> bikinis are the one thing. The boobs, thankfully, like my dresses are all a bit fine. They've got like a little bit of give and take and I mostly wear dresses. So I'm good with that, but I am gonna last minute go out and see if I can find a, a bikini to wear. Yeah, I can't believe that after this. So hopefully this vlog will be quite an exciting one because it will all be like shopping, um, preparing for baby, ah, kind of all of the exciting things. Anyway, see you in Portugal. Ah. I just thought about the sprinklers going off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that might be mid. I don't think they'll go, they seem to go midday. Already a dad that can't rest, setting up the perfect shot out there. Travelled 40 minutes with it and then splattered <laughs> it at the last minute. I felt quite nervous when I was opening the door and we were coming in. I had it balanced in one hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thankfully the thing was falls open. Oh, that's really nice. It's so cute. Have a look. Okay. Okay. 
Oscar enough to <laughs> Baby boy's gonna have a baby boy. Otto's gonna love it. Otto, it's a brother. It's a baby boy in there. I'm gonna be a big brother to a baby brother. This is how we told friends and family that we were expecting promoted to big brother. And he loves to chew it. <laughs> Well, the second trimester really does fly by. I have just been to my 16 week appointment, but I am nearly, I think tomorrow I will be 17 weeks. Where has that time gone between 12 to 17? I just don't know, although I do. We went on holiday, which I would recommend. I was a little bit worried. I was 13 to 14 weeks when we went on holiday and I was worried that I would still feel horrific. But honestly, that's when I started to feel a lot more like myself. And from 14 weeks onwards, ah, oh, yes, I got the energy back. I don't feel any nausea or sickness. I just feel good, I feel myself. It feels really nice. I did wanna just check in though to say, I don't know what I expected. I probably watched Call the Midwife too many times and I thought the midwife appointments were gonna be like a little life chat, cup of tea, you know. Very friendly, friendly. Mine was so matter of fact, it was like two minutes. Blood pressure, little um, thing on the Doppler, which I would say was really sweet, but actually it was just terrifying because I had a trainee midwife. She was really nice, but having been a little bit apprehensive for scans and that kind of thing, it was probably not the best experience um, because she struggled to find it. And when she did, I think baby was moving. So every time she like got the heartbeat for a little second, it would like, go and then she'd be trying to find it again and she kept trying to look at the clock um I think she was trying to check if it was okay um yeah in, in the end the my actual midwife was like sounds perfect but by then I was like oh I don't believe you so yeah I come away a little bit um less assured than when I went but feeling so out of breath now I mean to be honest um, with YouTube anyway, you're just talking to yourself and if you sit in front of a mirror and just talk to yourself for five, ten minutes, you soon get out of breath. But I'm feeling a little bit more out of breath. Eating wise now, I can eat whatever I like. I like vegetables, I like fish again. It just feels really good. The only thing that I have, the few, few symptoms that I've had in my second trimester are fatigue. I get really tired still. Um, especially in the evenings, so about eight, nine o'clock, I've checked out. I've checked out and I want to go to sleep and I sleep so well. I used to kind of struggle to get to sleep, but now I'm fast asleep. Hit the pillow, straight asleep. Um, and I still have slight, <laughs> little arts want to come back in, hang on. I'm really delightfully, I still gag when I'm brushing my teeth or taking my vitamins. Um, and also just like can't control. The other day I couldn't control a burp when we were at family meal and that's not usually what I'm like to so. say. Definitely, definitely have a little baby in there playing out with my whole system a little bit, a little bit but digesting everything like has been pretty easy throughout the whole pregnancy. So yeah, um, what else have I got to check you in on? I have my 20 week scan in three weeks time and I think this video is gonna be like less sit downy from this point onwards. I'm hoping to like do a few things with you, show you some baby clothes, show you some bits that I'm buying because last night was the first time, so 17 weeks is when I'm thinking, mm, can't really fit into clothes very well now. Getting a little bit apprehensive about having a baby in January and having to master the clothes um, in the depths of winter because I feel like I'm just gonna be living in leggings, which I don't really love. But, for example, these trousers, which 
used to be, they're like elasticated, which is just ideal. It kind of looks like I have more room in there, but then they're, they're like at the point now where they're not that flattering, is in like, you can see a little bump here, and they're just, they're just because of that getting a bit tighter around like this area too. And the little bump! Feels very weird showing a bump online. I don't know why, it's only my, it's only my tummy. Um, but it does feel strange. Uh, there's definitely something there, right? I mean, I know, I know I haven't showed it prior, but there's definitely a little bump there. And it grows so much more in the evening, which must just be kind of bloat. I'm still on progesterone for two more days, and then I'm off. The reason that I'm technically, I'm a bit confusing, the reason that I'm on progesterone till 17 weeks is because that is when I would take my date, but I've been moved a week forward. So at my 12 week scan, if you watched my first trimester, I was moved a week forward. So really timing wise for my first scan and when my period was and everything, I should be 16 weeks, but I'm now 17 weeks. Baby will come when baby wants to come. So we'll see. Anyway, I will check in later because we've got first little baby clothes. I'm not sure when I last checked in because I have been feeling great. I think there just hasn't been much to say. I feel back to myself. I feel very normal. My anxiety is definitely subsiding and actually I did watch my first trimester vlog back. I was editing it the other day and I was like, wow, I'm not myself. Like I'm quite negative and I feel like in the first trimester as well, it is a difficult trimester and I definitely didn't feel well and it was a struggle to just get on with day-to-day -day life. Like I was just exhausted from doing little things. But at the same time, I feel like it's very, like, you're looking for symptoms trimester. And this one, I just, yeah, I'm now 18 weeks and feeling really, really good. Starting to get a little bit of a bump now. And I have been purchasing a few things, which I will show you. Um, I'll definitely update you again, but I'm just filming another little video now. And I thought, oh, I have to update because I've been feeling little one and it is the best, most magical feeling in the world. I absolutely love it. So at about 17 weeks, I was getting these little pops in my tummy. And at the time I was kind of in denial. I was like, mm, I think these may be baby, but I'm not sure. They're like very distinctive. They don't feel like anything else, but they also don't really feel like a certain kick. However, just a week on, like, I'm now certain that it's baby, absolutely certain, and I can feel little, like, kicks going on. They're still really quite low, um, but definitely active in the morning after I eat and also in the evening, but I think that also just correlates with when I'm sitting down and I maybe, it, it's, like, more easily able to notice because I'm, like, lying in bed, not doing anything, not moving. So yeah, that's a super, super, super sweet little update. And I just absolutely love it. It's the most reassuring, but bizarre and wild thing that I absolutely love. I can't wait till I can feel them kicking a lot more now. Very exciting one today. We're somewhere very different. We're up in London. It's Sunday morning. We drove up today and we are doing our first ever baby shopping. Kind of hilarious because we know, and I mean nothing, to the point that last night we googled how to dress a baby in the winter. Like, we just don't understand. Apparently it's like a base layer, but we're still a bit confused about that, like a vest. Um, anyway, we're hoping we're going to start in John Lewis, and we're hoping that they can educate us on everything, on all things baby. And another little weird thing is that, do you still feel like a teenager? Oh, yeah. Walking oh, into like a baby to like yeah, it doesn't feel like we're supposed to be there. More than old enough to have a child, but <laughs> that is our future. That is our future. Um, yeah, I feel very strange about walking into the baby section and like trying prams and stuff. Got a little tiny bump now, teeny tiny, but still not feeling that's Qualified. pregnant. <laughs> Favourite in London, all and seen, Cinnamon Social. It's absolutely amazing. They have like hundreds in the window. I've got my first hot chocolate of the season. Seems a bit weird because it's definitely summer and I'm in a dress. Well, we already need a break and a very sensible one, a very quick water break. You may hear um, we're in the John Lewis cafe and the football's going on today and they've got like a TV set up downstairs. Hear them all cheering, cheering around. Cheering in. Yeah. Um, wow. 
think we might need to book a like personal, personal shopper, shopper check thing assistant because <laughs> we were trying to get it was a baby born carrier on Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. We were there for about ten minutes, and then Ollie was like, "No, nope. <laughs> not gonna work." And I thought that they were supposed to be like a really easy one. It's difficult because we've got um, no. Your sisters have had babies, but they're in Canada and France, and not a lot of our friends have had babies yet. My friend in Australia. Hannah's had a baby. And you've got a friend Ali in. Ali's had a couple of kids now. He's up in London. But none really but local. So none we... local and none like really close that we've ever looked after or like spent a lot of time with. So we just have no idea what the essentials are and it's quite overwhelming. There's a lot to deal with. There's a lot to think about and there's a lot of different brands which seem to do very, very similar things. So we've had a look at clothes and even that we were like, as I said, we're not really sure how to dress. <laughs> yeah, which sounds ridiculous. We know go for ease, go for zips. Um, and since it's going to be January, it's going to be very warm. All of them have little like temperature ratings. We're like, yeah, our house is probably going to be right at the bottom. Yeah, this was the scales. sleep suits. We were like definitely like a two point five tog. So, well, we're not. We're we're probably about halfway. We're going to look at um, prams next, which actually I think will be easier. Easier. And I thought we'd be feeling a little bit more enlightened, but actually... Just feel more confused now. A bit more confused. <laughs> but at the same time, it's really fun. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. The little granddad jumper is so cute, but this one... Oh, how adorable is that? So sweet. Love the little teddy bear. This is Pure Baby. Um, so it's like another brand, I believe. I don't know if John Lewis do that. They have some really nice bits. Ollie is, I mean, I don't know what he's looking at now, but as soon as we came over, he was like, Lego. Um, I think this is a little bit past. Naught to three months, which is really what we're focusing on. What are you looking at now? I don't know, it's like a, like a modern marble run set, I think. Oh, it you and your cool. grams would love that. Yeah. That does actually look quite cool. This is this like, is when it looks like it's got like little gates and things. Like this looks really good. How much is this? We're gonna. Well, it's uh, protected, it's <laughs> so that is definitely gonna be expensive. When we have a one-year-old and Ollie's buying this for Christmas, and I'm like, mm, is this for you or the baby? Yeah, it's definitely for me. <laughs> so many options. These are so sweet and so compact, and almost look like they're made for dolls. But I get they would be amazing for London life. But it's not really our lifestyle. <laughs> getting the baby tucked in. Um, we really like the Cybex. In fact, this coloring here with the brown, I just think is absolutely gorgeous. However, Ollie and I have just said, you don't want to be presumptuous, but we'd love to have another baby in the future. And babies, toddlers want to be in prams for a little while. Do you blow like a thousand pounds on a pram and then get a double buggy when you have a second baby like that just seems such a waste but then getting a double when you don't have two babies is that a bit presumptuous like, no, I think, it, I think if, it's on, if it's on the cards it's a possibility and it's not kind of like if it's not a massive inconvenience to have I think it's a good safety net because otherwise you spend they're expensive. They're, so expensive. they're expensive. It's an investment. It, yeah. And otherwise, if you get a second child, then you're having to sell it off. And then we have just said, um, we were just like looking at a kid in a pram over there, like, how old do oh, kids still no stay idea. in prams? <laughs> like, no idea. Is it like through, like, how quickly would you need to have another baby to hold oh, up pram? Here we go. Suitable from birth to 22 kilos. 22 kilos is big. Oh, I have no idea. Let's, I think, like, let's have three, a let's yeah. Have a double Otto. Yeah, that's not that big. <laughs> We're referring to how old a baby can stay in a pram on our dog size. <laughs> and we've also been trying to look at the baskets. Like... Like undercarriage men. Like, will, will, will little Otto fit in there? See, that one's quite comfortable that's for really him. That's good. I think you'd love that. Yeah. So if we were going to think about a double option, which I don't know. Guys, give us advice. Is, is that silly or is that sensible? And how old would a baby go a child, a toddler, go in one of these things too? Or would they even want to, would they, like, a toddler be fed up with another baby? 
and also what everyone thinks about a, a two by one or one by two. Like these ones have got child on top of the other one, whereas there's one over there where they're sat together. Together, which so is obviously really nice, them, but it's really wide. Really wide. So I worry that sort of like shops now, like a couple of the local shops, they have put so many display things. Even I struggle to like walk around it on my feet. If yeah. You're taking that buggy in there, you'd have no chance. <laughs> like that is so high. Like stand next to that one. <laughs> Which I guess of, is kind of nice though, isn't it? Yeah. Because like each child has quite a lot of space. Yeah. It is called the Upper Baby Vista. So it's upper like baby, it's the cool. baby is up high and it has a good work. But. We need some serious advice on that, please guys. <laughs> do we do we forward plan or I mean we know with this child, like you just cannot plan. You have no idea what's gonna happen, so Who knows? Who knows? But yeah. We do like to plan for future events. I don't wanna so. be like I mean, our cars aren't that expensive so thinking about spending like oh, these, way these, over these, a thousand on a pram these prams are half the cost of my car yeah you want it to last right <laughs> in uv and i love this little outfit here so we're just buying exactly that this is how we're going to baby shop just buy what the model has on it because then we'll know how to dress the baby so sweet this is so soft as well and they've got loads of lovely autumn stuff in here but we're not so sure about this. this. This seems like skilled, skilled dressing of a baby, but super, super cute. Lots of like little teddy bear suits. Oh, adorable. Seems like the stripes are what we're gonna go for. Actually, Ollie picked this one. It's so sweet. This is the white company. Um, but we're thinking next winter because this just looks so diddy to be able to like navigate on a little baby. Some of it is so soft. And so sweet and I love these and they're like little knit rompers like yeah but these are gonna be like probably maybe machine wash but not tumble dryer wall yeah. <laughs> I know little teddy bear mittens oh. take it back it is tumble dryer wall it matches Ollie perfectly literally everything put it to your wash, shirt <laughs> he would blend into you completely Perfect. I also love these for an older boy. I don't know if they do them smaller, they might. Um, they say, night, night, sleep tight. And they're actually, they're not cotton. And they're oh, like jersey. more jersey and stretchy, which is quite nice. A cute little dressing gown, it'd be adorable. It's actually a lot later though, because we just had lunch with friends. Um, and it is so hot in here. Did we mention earlier the air con isn't working? Yeah, it wasn't, it's not just, I don't think it's just John Lewis, it's like the entire Westfield, no air conditioning. That's <laughs> very hot. That's why I'm looking like flustered in all of this, by the way. I'm not actually flustered by all the baby stuff, a little bit, but it's more than heat. Reading books now? Yeah, yeah, books, books are a big thing that I think we'd like to get a lot of. It's hard to know where to start and whether to just pick things that we like or to try and be practical. So like far. When, when do you stop doing the like cute stuff? When I'm about to yeah, pop, what? probably. <laughs> I'm not even sure how to pronounce this uh, shot, but it does some really lovely baby bits, um, particularly kind of like the um, pram suits and ski suits. Ski suits, so the little, little tiny babies, they've got these, which we're semi considering, but because we're having a January baby and <laughs> gorgeous, but then also. Proper really little, great ski wear. Proper puppies. Yeah. Salopettes. This is like Ollie's realm a little bit. He was like, yeah, I really, I'm really into this. I really like this. Um, like base layers. They don't seem to have they're them. Little, they're little ski jackets. It's got like proper little snow gussets like inside as well. Yeah, it's sweet. They feel really sweet. good quality. They do. I love that one there. Yeah. That's very yeah, that neat. Really I'd love cute. that. It's so soft. What age are these though? Uh, oh. That one's nine to twelve months. Yeah, yeah. So next year. Next year. And this brand also does like matching, like stripes, so you, like mum, dad, and children, can all we, wear the same stripes. They do adult stuff. They do. <laughs> yeah, so we can all match. So, like I'm at Christmas, I was, I was looking, we get all like a red, <laughs> red pair, and we can all match. I was looking at a baseball cap over there, and I was like, that just looks nice. I would wear that. Like, <laughs> checking the sizes, come on. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you see them when we came in? No, I thought that was just like marketing. Yeah, and here, this is the sale, but they seem to also do, I thought could be quite good, these like base layers, which are wool. 
the babies. Because um, I think some of the, because where, where was this from? Sweden. Sweden, yeah. yeah. So and you can just tell, can't you? Like yeah. Feeling, you may be able to hear my voice. I am definitely still maybe not as energetic as I used to be. Although I was up at 6.30 this morning. It's been a semi-long day. We're also meeting friends for dinner in just a little bit. We're in mamas and papas and picking up some cute things. My wonderful husband, even though I'm absolutely exhausted, is sitting. He's looking after himself over here. This is actually the rocking chair that I quite like because we've got dark wood details, as you guys know. So I had a look at this one. I thought this would go lovely in the house. Comfy. Ali approves. Mm -hmm. And we also looking, this one is so soft. It says, hello world. It has uh, more stripes. We have an issue. In Lots fact, the thing that we just picked up was this colored stripes, basically. <laughs> um, yeah, and we've been looking at general nursery sets and we've both been saying like, we're having a small nursery and they look huge. <laughs> like you think of a small baby. But they stay in these and then they like grow into beds a lot of them. But I wonder if it's one of those things though that when you see them here they seem really big, but when they go in the room, yeah. like they seem smaller. Well, but, um, let's hope so. <laughs> I don't know, worried, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna pick up these bits and I think we're coming back. So I wish that we didn't leave them under some puppets till last, because it's probably one of our favourite clothes wise. One of my favourites. There's loads of options. And just like lovely things like these muslins. There's like a blanket over there. I'll show you. It's so soft. They've got all this Hello World stuff. But this one. This one is uber soft. I kind of want to get it. But then I, I just feel like we can't get everything at once. These are the muslins that I picked up. It has been a jam-packed day. I'm getting more dishevelled as the day goes on. It's about 10 o'clock. We just arrived at the hotel. Um, it's really lovely. Can we turn any more lights on or do we need the key card? <laughs> it's really cosy like this though, actually. Um, this gorgeous bed. I actually kind of want to do something like this in our room with the fabric when we move downstairs. Because of the way that the door works, I think it'd be really nice to kind of like have, because we have a door basically here. So just to give more protection. Apparently that's like quite feng shui, feng shui. and I'm into the feng shui. Um, no idea what view we have, you can just, <laughs> just see us. But really pretty window. And what's the bathroom like? Oh, there is a bath. Oh my gosh, there's a bath. Yes. Very traditional and sweet. But yeah, I mean, we can't, can't really tell much for, for now because it's very late. Nice. Really nice day though, like mostly catching up with friends yeah. and enjoying and like a few little baby bits. Okay. I think we did pretty well for like our first run of it. Yeah. And I may or may not, I don't know if I've even shown, but I have brought my pregnancy pillow with me because um, I didn't actually know this. This is the fact that I didn't know, but you're supposed to sleep on your left side when you're pregnant and it worried me a little bit because it, if you sleep on your back, it can cause stillbirth. And of course, I sleep on my back. <laughs> like my most comfortable position is sleeping on my back. So um, I bought the pillow because it like sandwiches me in so that I have to sleep on my left side. And now I'm a bit paranoid about it. Now that I know that fact. So that is taking full control of the bed <laughs> and most of it actually, it's not a huge bed. But I think we will see you in there morning for day two for more shopping which we have no idea what we're doing um but breakfast which is ollie's favorite <laughs> couldn't not lay out the cuteness before we went to bed i think i showed you most of this so this was a little outfit that we got in newbie the leggings i'm not sure if we showed <laughs> the little hat with the little bear is um ollie wanted these like bib type things. I don't even know, like, do newborns still wear those? I'm not even sure. Uh, the Hello World, this one is unbelievably soft and I quite like it. No doubt he can wear the leggings separately from the top. And then this set of muslins, also from Mamas and Papas. I just loved, loved the prints on those. I find like boy muslins a little bit more difficult but they did some really lovely like gender neutral if you're looking for just gender neutral mama and papa's is amazing 
Um, and then this was one that we weren't expecting. I knew that I wanted a striped outfit. Um, and we got this one. It's got really lovely little gold buttons. I know that none of this matters, but you know, we're just looking at cute stuff, which is why we're kind of in London. Very sweet. And then I think we showed this, but I'm not sure we said that we picked it up. This is like the wool layer. So they've got this really lovely, it's very hard to see in the dark, but this was in the sale, um, half price. So we definitely wouldn't have bought this full price, but it'd be amazing for a little January boy because our house is cold and it can be pretty cold for quite a few months um, in the beginning of the year. So that, and I don't know if I showed this, but it just couldn't be cuter. Otto. And it's not quite the correct dog. This was in um, Trotters. Um, I do love Trotters, but it is very much, a, like Ollie said, we can get him something for Christmas, like a special outfit for Christmas. But yeah, really sweet little dog book, but it's more about a sausage dog. So lots of dogs though. Very sweet. Anyway, very, very good first day in London. Just dreaming and enjoying the like baby stage. Good morning, it's the next day. Our plans were a little bit scuppered this morning because we were gonna go to One Wells, which is an interior store, but um, the tube, Paddington tube was like completely shut. So we decided to just come along instead to Salfridges to look at cute toys. Because why not? I mean, how adorable. It's a frog in a stripy cardigan. Seeing as we've got so much striped clothes already. <laughs> Baby boy's gonna be dressed mostly in stripe. And then we do actually have We have Elmore. We have him at home. Ollie got me that teddy when you were going away for a work trip and you were like, you can look after this until a little one needs it or something. It was very cute. So he's been sat in a box for mm. years. Ages, yeah. Years and years. Um, but they do some lovely teddy. He's still my favourite. Yeah, I'm looking at he's them. Like the like, yeah. He's like the old fashioned and he's got like the old fashioned movements, which I think is really lovely. No doubt they'll end up having loads of stuffy things and they'll just want all this in the future. Oh. <laughs> Kids. Are you you debating another teddy? What? You debating another teddy? Yeah, I feel like Elmo needs a little mate at home. Oh gosh. Our nursery is tiny. We're gonna need a <laughs> playroom after this weekend. He's creepy. He's just moved. <laughs> he's the growl, really special like, ones though. He's he's gorgeous. He's 250 pounds. Which one's the most expensive teddy bear here? Oh wow. He's 550. Yeah. And she is 500 up there. She's got a nice little string of pearls on. Oh, he's adorable. Yeah, he's cute. I wonder how much he is. Oh, he's Paddy. He's this one here. He's Paddy. Oh, he knows all the names. Don't worry, he's Paddy. Wait, where was it? Paddy. There you go. Is he? No. 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 That's like an upmarket Paddy. Yeah, he's like an older, older Paddy. He's a little bit more washed out. I wanted to say, I feel like we didn't overly explain in the beginning, but with this pregnancy, we've, we literally didn't talk about it at all up until really this 20 week mark. Um, we both decided in the first trimester that we would schedule in something after the 20 weeks so that we could get really excited and like dream about baby. And we've been saying like how lovely this has been because it's really made us excited and like the anxiety has gone a little bit. So this is like our splurge trip and it's like where we're getting lots of nice little lovely things but of course we'll be getting all the like M&S and Primark basics too. This is just the cute stuff. This is more shopping for us rather than like It's shopping for, for us, yeah. And it's definitely put me in a different mood with it all as well, which is really nice. Yeah. It's just, it's really special. Like obviously we were saying as well, like we probably won't do this. We you still come shopping for your second and third or fourth or what have you. But like the first is so different. Not fourth. No fourth. I'm enjoying pregnancy. <laughs> I was like, keep saying Tolly, I'm really enjoying it. I could have loads of babies. <laughs> Walk that way. <laughs> yeah. 
motors aren't even going on it. even called ice cream union uh yeah the parlor by ice cream union uh i got mental chip did i say that already amazing i've got banana split nice mm, potentially the best ice cream i've ever had um this is on such an adorable street i'm kind of slacking now though i'm feeling we've looked at a lot of a lot of buggies buggies of which i'm over my ice cream is melting i think i'm gonna have to eat it I'm not sure I ended off when we got back from London, but it's been a little while. In fact, it's been about a month. I am now 24 weeks. We have hit viability week. Honestly, this is a week that I've been looking forward to for a while. I had thought that maybe I wouldn't announce until this point. So viability week, if you don't know, is when um, baby has the best chance of surviving if they are born. Um, although obviously really hoping baby cooks till about 40 weeks um, and I'm sure every time you hit a milestone there's like a new one that you want oh I hope that birth goes okay I hope that they're born all healthy so on and so forth um, but I thought I would show you some of the gorgeous baby bits that we have picked up so far um, have been collecting a few things now after London especially now that we know it's a little boy though I'm trying to keep it very gender neutral because um, we do hope to have other children and I think I do know that <laughs> it's a very expensive, we worked out the other day how many outfits they'd need for each stage and how much that would cost potentially. It's a big business these babies, it's a very big business. I've got my other little baby down here who's trying to have a good chew of my hand. Um, but that's, yeah, let's get in. Um, it is just super adorable. I mean, is there anything cuter than a baby? in a lovely white baby row sleep suit. I'm not even sure what you call all of this. Um, but we saw these, read about these, researched. Mori sleep suits were raved about because they have the double zip. They have a zip at the bottom for changing them and also zip right down to make it super easy. And they're also just like, from going shopping, so unbelievably soft. These we actually picked up a pack of seven because they were in the sale. So they're like a bundle price. And then they were in the summer sale and then there was like additional something like additional 40% off the sale so I mean if these are still there there they were a really 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 good price well still not like supermarket price but good price for Mori and we got those in 0 to 3 because uh, I don't know I know you never know but I have a feeling that baby might be a good size my brother and I were both like 8 towards the like larger size of 8 um so I don't know, we'll see. And I've got one of the Mori newborns, which was also in the sale. I adore this sailage colour. I think perfect for like boy or girl. Obviously now we know that we're having a boy, but a lot of these things that we're investing in are going to be very neutral in hope that future baby might also be able to wear them. Sorry, there's work going on down the road, but it's also a heat wave, so I'm like sweltering. That's one thing. I'm way hotter than usual. I have also got a few nice little outfits and items for the newborn phase. I'm thinking, um, obviously not practical, but you want to take some nice photos. We might do like a little newborn um, shoot. This company is called Eyelet and Fraser, and I just couldn't resist this little knitted oatmeal onesie. Um, it doesn't have feet, but it has some sweet little scalloping with matching blanket and also probably the cutest part. These look so tiny, I don't know how they're ever going to wear them. But the little booties. Oh my gosh. Wow. They're so small. Um, but I thought that would be a really nice outfit for like the, any special newborn things when we want to take photos. I know we probably will just be um, trying to survive, but I dream that we might have some nice photos. Then along those lines, I feel like Zara's gonna be one of my favorite for little one. Just have some really beautiful items. I love this kind of, like, I wanna kind of call it a smoky blue color. It's got the little leggings and then a lovely like kimono tie top too. And the leggings have little feeties on them. Um, 
January baby as well. I just thought this was so adorable. Um, mostly because I'm gonna love cuddling them in this. This is one to three months though, so yeah, I don't know. I've definitely been sizing up a bit and I, I'm not sure if that's been the right thing to do. But so cozy and bottoms at the bottom too, so that you can change the nappy. Stripes, stripes and more stripes, little hat from Zara. And then another little knit kimono piece from them too. And this was actually one item we did pick up before. For 20 weeks we picked this one up as soon as we found out it was a little boy in Portugal and uh, we went shopping and there was a little Zara and I just couldn't resist this. This is like my little boy dream for a little kid, putting them in cute little um, rompery dungarees things all of the time. This is one to three again so not newborn. Then taking advantage of the Mori sale again, I got this one in a much bigger size, I think it was. Um, six to nine months, so that will be summer months for baby boy. Little like festy top stripe. And then I couldn't resist these as well, we picked these up in London. Lywood I think is a really beautiful baby brand from where I've been looking and these are just the most precious muslins with lots of adorable little animals over them. Little hippos and lions and giraffes and snakes. Very, very cute. It was so hot up there. <laughs> to get changed and come downstairs to cool down. It's so much cooler down here. I'm actually really thankful for the heat wave though because we were thinking or like we've been considering having our last little holiday a baby moon in October, probably mid to late October when I'll be about 28 or so weeks. And we were thinking, because usually I really love the heat, so I was thinking of going further afield to get good weather at that time. But actually, I think Europe might be plenty for me because when it's like, so it's like 29.30 today and I'm sure to me it feels more like 35. Definitely when you're pregnant, I think you've got to add on like maybe another five or so degrees to how you're actually feeling, which is something I never, I, you know, you hear people talk about it, but it's when they're really heavily pregnant, whereas like I still have a little bump, but it's not huge, um, but I really feel the heat a lot more. So yes, I think I'm gonna sign off this one here though, because pretty much I'm like up to date now, which is quite nice. So we are, um, and we've got the floors being stained, which hopefully you'll be seeing next week sanded and stained, fingers crossed. Um, and then we're back into just like normal life renovation week by week, um, which yeah, I can't wait for because especially with the baby things, I've still been feeling a little bit like, oh, I can't say baby boy, <laughs> like cutting out little sections. And we've obviously had a bit of baby content, but now um, it'll fade, fade back a little bit to renovations as we plow on and finish off. We've got loads of boxes. We had a wardrobe arrive from Ikea this morning. Got a new mattress going on. Um, there's a lot that we want to finish off and, and style the house um, before the new year. So yeah, see you then guys, bye.